Hello everyone, welcome back to the Power BI tutorial. In this video, we will be seeing that how can we create a map along with a pie chart in Power BI. In the previous videos, we have already learned about how can we create a map, either a simple map or a filled map and try to show some of the data using that map itself. But in this video, we are going to take a step further and we are going to combine the features of uh, a map in Power BI along with a pie chart. The reason why we are choosing a pie chart is because that uh, it can be represented very easily in a circular form. So it would be easy to locate that pie chart in a map because here as you can see that we have got all these circles or the bubbles that would be used to represent any of these stuff over here right so for this there are some of the predefined requirements let us just get into the focus mode and just minimize these panes for a second so the reason why we are choosing this map um, or the requirement is that you must need to choose a simple map that is the one that is represented by a globe kind of a icon over in the visualizations panel so you need to make sure that uh, you are having exactly this kind of a map and um, uh, it would be uh, the only requirement because um, for the pie chart we cannot use a filled map the reason being that in the case of a filled map you do not have any kind of a bubbles or anything uh, but you can just use them in this map so that's why we have dragged this map and what else i have done is i have uh, imported a data source so if you just go to recent sources this one that is of a superstore us this is the data source that i have imported in my power bi and this is the data source which i have downloaded from the internet so if you want i will share its url in the description box below and uh, this is all the fields that I have got from this orders table from the US Superstore database. Now in this all the fields we have a column named as state or province and I have dragged this into the location and that is why we are uh, getting all these states in the form of a blue color. So let us first understand or perform some of the actions so we are able to understand that what is it going to do in a better way. So we have another uh, column that is known as the region column and if we can just drag it into the legion field then you can see that there are four regions now the central region, east region, south region and the west region. These four regions are actually represented by four different colors which is actually shown over here. These are the different regions which you can easily see. So it is a way of categorizing the data in Power BI. All right. Suppose you do not want region. Let us just remove this region field. Then uh, we have another field uh, in our table and that is known as the customer segment field. If we just get it into the legend, then what happens? You can see uh, this customer segment is actually that uh, what uh, for what purpose the thing or the uh, product that the person has required or has ordered for is going. It is for customer use, it is for corporate use, it is for home or office use or it is for a small business. So these are the four categories of the customer segment that we have got. And as you can see, as soon as I drag that into the legend field, all our bubbles have changed into some kind of a different icon. If you're having any trouble in seeing those bubbles, you can just increase its size by going into the format tab. Here is this bubbles option and here is the size. You can just increase its size a little bit like this. Okay. So now you can see it is all visible very clearly. Uh, these are the different states. Suppose here we have uh, Montana. So it has only two categories means whatever the orders are uh, listed for Montana, we have either the orders for small business or for the home and office. 
however in washington we have all four of them all four of the categories or the customer segments have been ordered in washington similarly in oregon also all the four customer segments have been ordered so this is a kind of a pie chart but as you can see that uh, wherever this is three uh, there or the three customer segments have been listed we have got the same angle everywhere for the two we have got a 50 50 proportion and for the four ones we have got a 25 percent proportion so with the help of this uh, customer segment in the legion we are able to get that how many customer segments are ordered but we are not very sure on the fact that to actually how much of them will were ordered like we can uh, easily make out from this chart or from this map that in washington all the four of the customer segments were ordered that's perfectly fine but we cannot make out that um, how many of the small businesses were ordered or how many for the corporates were ordered we cannot make out a proportion for that so for that purpose what we can do is we can just come back to our um, place where all the fields are listed and there is the size field in size we are going to just um, get something and that is known as the uh, we must have something called as uh, say unit price you can just get, uh, get it into the size and yeah you can see all of them so we are able to classify them that uh, how many total worth of the consumers were or the products that were fit for consumption of a consumer were ordered in Washington that is around 10,288.32 similarly for the corporate we have some other value that is 5579.06 and for the uh, small business we have 779.62 and for the last one that is home or office we have 141.21 so that is the total price of the units that were ordered for each and every customer segment so if we just go to the format tab once again and just uh, decrease the size of the bubbles a little bit so you can see that uh, we have got these different proportions all over the place and we are able to make out that uh, from which customer segment we are getting most orders out of the state similarly if we try to go to california then we have got the corporate uh, customer segment placing most of the orders in new york we have got home and office uh, segment ordering the most of the stuff and similarly we can easily make out from this chart or this uh, map along with the pie chart that which thing or the which um, you can say uh, which customer segment is being ordered the most in which state so this is how you can just use a pie chart in a power bi map this is a very simple process in power bi but if you can see it in the competing software is like tableau it is a very advanced process it would not be as simple as uh, we just learned over here that is why power bi is more preferred because it is very simple to use uh, we have used it for say unit price right now what if if we just remove it then all things would get back to normal like this and suppose we want to make out that how many profit uh, we are just getting from all these fields so on profit we are getting uh, the profit only from the small businesses in washington in uh, california the most of the profit we are getting is from the home and office businesses in um, here we can like in oregon we can get the profit from corporate sector and the consumer sector so we are getting profits from three sectors but uh, most of the profit is coming from the consumer sector and this is the kind of the data that we have got that from which consumer segment in which state we are getting the maximum profit so this is the actual use of power bi this is the actual use where you can just make out different kind of stuff where you can analyze the data and uh, gather different kinds of information which was hidden if we hadn't used this tool so that's the actual um, goal behind using power bi to get some of the insights into the data so that's how you can just create a pie chart along with a map in power bi and um, i hope you all have understood that how can you just uh, use this uh, along with the pie chart and if you want to make any other things like uh, suppose instead of profit you want a sales that how much sales was done in each and every sector so you can see we have got all these bubbles again 
and they are of different proportions so that's all for today's video and i hope you all have understood it thanks for watching